What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Arise video, surprisingly. So, I originally was not going to make another video. If you saw my finale, you know that I kind of said that, that was the end. Because I got a little spoiled on the cameo stuff, and I figured it was just going to be a simple fight in the arena, so I was just like, you know what, whatever, I'm not going to make a video on it. But, I find out it's an entire side quest portion to do... Um, you know, out in the world. So I was like, you know what? Because I, I started it and I did like the first like two minutes and I was like, you know what? I'll just make this into a video, an extra episode like I did with my Zillia playthrough where we went for the uh, Devil Arms. Like awakening them and stuff. So here we are. Um, a little history to basically say what I've done since beating the game. I do apologize for not doing all the side quests. I really should have because there were some story bits that... Which I don't really like. I don't like optional, like, quests to have, you know, important story. Um, three of the bosses we saw in the opening were in these side quests. You know, this one right here, for example. The thing that that I thought looked like a uh, brain. Um, they're basically all the different elements. You know, the four things that fell down from the sky. The four lights. Uh, you know, you had Gnome, Undine... Uh, Ifrit, which was, uh, forced, you know, we fought him before we dealt with, uh, going into space. Um, and then there was, like, a, uh, a self-like dragon type thing. Um, so I did fight those. Uh, there was some important story bits for Rinwell and Law. Um, so I apologize that I will not have those <laughs> in a video. I mean, I could always go back. I could load a previous save. But, um, it doesn't really seem worth it since I've already done it, so... Law got a letter from his father that was left for him and came to terms with everything with that. And then Rinwell came to terms with not having to hide as a mage anymore. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much been simple side quest stuff. Uh, nothing too huge. Some funny side quests like uh, Dohalim's pancake uh, side quest. But uh, that's pretty much what I've done. Uh, we got everyone to almost 59 right now. Uh, from all the side questing I've been doing, but we're gonna do this cameo portion. This is inside the spirit temple So, uh, this is right over by um, The Tito plane when you go in here you go in you do a side the first side quest Which leads you to the end to fight this thing and then afterwards you leave and then you get another side quest to come back in here to do the cameo portion. I've already talked to this guy. He basically went ahead and told us that um, it leads to six different worlds, this portal right here. He gave us the key for the first one. And it looks like from each world you'll be able to go one by one to the other worlds. And the first one is the destiny key. A key to open space-time gate to another world. Is it the world called Destiny? This is what made me want to really do this. Because if we're going to six different worlds, I assume that there are six different cameo fights we have to do with characters from the different games. I'm not going to say who I got spoiled on, because if you're watching this for the first time, if you're not playing through it yourself, I don't want to spoil who we're going to run into. But uh, safe to assume we're going to run into, I assume anyways, unless it's just like bait and we just, you know, fight some enemy from Destiny. Uh, I have not beaten Tales of Destiny myself. I have not played it. Um, because I want to play the uh, the remastered version. And I'm hoping that someday they uh, they put out a uh, like a port or something. Because they have even said on recent streams that they're like, yeah, we, we, we see that, you know, people want to play Tales of Destiny, you know, outside of Japan. So we'd love to do that at some point. So I'm hoping that happens. Um, but as of right now, my knowledge of Destiny is just from friends and from the mobile game. So, you know, I, I know an average amount about Stan, Rudy, and the gang. Um, but we're going to go in here and see what happens. Um, like I said, I, I did, you know, walk in there, but I didn't even do the first fight. Like, I heard the music playing, and then immediately I was like, I got to make a video on this. So, we're going to hop in, um, and let's get started. By the way, I do want to mention, because I just learned this... Um, I found out how to get the second Mystic Arts for everyone. Apparently, I could have done it before going to the final dungeon. Uh, what you have to do is those uh, campsite scenes where it has the three dots. You have to max out a character's uh, friendship level by watching all their scenes in order to get it. So right now, I've only gotten Geons. And I have actually gotten to land her second Mystic Art, which is actually really cool. 
Um, but the other four I do not have yet. I'm working on Law next since he's a character I'll actually use in combat. Um, and then, of course, I will work on the others. But that's enough talking on me. I don't know how many videos this will be because if this is like a three-hour endeavor, then obviously I'll make it multiple videos. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll do... If it's, you know, like 30 minutes per world, um, then maybe I'll just make it each its own video, you know? Uh... You know, if the, if this Destiny one takes 30 to 40 minutes, then, you know, it'll be a Destiny video. Maybe I'll just title them. Because that'll be this will be two months after the release, so I don't really have to worry about spoilers. But anyways, enough talking. Let's transfer to the Destiny Rift.精霊力に別の何かの力が混ざった感じがする。本当にどなでもレナでもないみたい。どんな研究をしたらこんな真似ができるんだ。理屈は so, even though I have not played Destiny, I am assuming that this is the cave where, uh, which means there should be an elevator, I assume. Um, I don't really want to spoil Destiny because I feel like a lot of people watching probably haven't played Destiny. Or, or at least, you know, the PS2 version. Um, but there is a scene that has to do with a cavern like this where a uh, certain thing happens. So I'm wondering if this is what that's supposed to be. Um, but let's see what level these guys are. Okay, level 60, we're fine. And you can hear the Tales of Destiny music. I mean, you might be able to over the noise of all the enemies. Just gotta be careful. The one thing that does worry me about doing this right now is that, um, one of the bosses I had to, well, actually, no, that's actually not true. One of the four lights. Uh, that fell down to the earth. The enemy was level 70. So I'm hoping that, you know, we're not dealing with like a bunch of level 70s. It's so cool to hear the Destiny music. Even though I haven't played Destiny, I know the music very well. Very cool. Alright, that's decent XP. Of course, the enemies in here are still, like, relatively the same as what we're used to. I'm just wondering what materials and stuff we're going to find in here. All right. You, almost, you really can't even see what happens in these combos sometimes. Not bad. Oh, I also do want to mention, I did, 
since I was done with the game, I did activate all of the uh, DLC stuff I hadn't done before. Um, which did give me some nice stuff, but I also, from some of these side quests, I got some, uh, you know, EXP up. So now I have 40% extra XP. And something else I learned, the max level in this game is only 100, which... Tails hasn't been that low of a level cap in a very long time. Like, even back to Vesperia, Vesperia, you can still go to level 200. Um, so it is very interesting. But let's see what we can find in here. Oh, uh, Mystic Crest, okay. Um, okay, so that's taken care of. So I guess we'll go over here, and then we'll just loop around. But, uh, this is just cool. I wonder what the other... I know what three of them are gonna be. Because, uh, obviously I've been spoiled. I guess to kind of explain, I saw a thumbnail on YouTube when I was watching, uh, random stuff. This was actually before the game even came out. Um... And I saw three characters on the, uh, thumbnail that, uh, obviously are not from this game. So, unless they're the only three and we just go to these worlds just for fun, um, I don't know. I kind of hope that these are all long, though. Like, if, if I can make six different videos, you know, each one on a different Tales game, essentially, for cameo, mind you, uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. I do plan to, uh, obviously this won't be in a video, but once I've unlocked all of the, uh, once I've unlocked most of the artifacts, I think I'm definitely going to, uh, um, what do you call it? I'm going to do a new game plus just on my own. Um, by the way, I do have a lot of an, e so here's 20%, 80%, and then another 20% down here. So I get a total of 120% XP from battles now. That's also kind of why I want to do a new game plus. Um, is because one of the trophies for this game, like for completion, is to hit level 100. And I feel like it's going to be unnecessary, excessively grindy to do it, uh, you know, by normal means. So, uh... I want to kind of do a new game plus, do everything in a, the game again, and I'll be a much higher level when I get to this point again. Odds are that's probably what I'm going to do. But, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to see what's going to be at the end of this. So, I did also check out what happens when you click New Game Plus. It's... It pretty much what I kind of expected, um, where it's not like the other Tales games, because normally in previous Tales games, you would, you know, you'd get grade from battles and then you would spend it on the stuff, you know, like the bonus XP, bonus gold, uh, you know, keep your items, blah, blah, blah. But here, you just, you click New Game Plus and you can, you select the artifacts you want to, uh, have activated, which you can activate them and deactivate at any time, so it doesn't matter. But, um, that's pretty much the extent of it, so, um, there's no, like, two times experience, five times experience, ten times experience, like, you know, some of the older games. Uh, you pretty much only get the 120%, uh, bo boost. You get 100% if you didn't, like, get the DLC. Um, which I guess is fine, because if the max level is only 100, I guess they want to make you work for it a little bit. Yeah. 
Ashes to ashes. Level 60. Um. Yeah, and then there's this, which we'll obviously loop around to get back to. Alright, let's climb up. I really wonder how many corridors are going to be for each world. I know this is just like a random cave. I think it would be really cool if they actually did remake, you know, an iconic area from each game. Like, instead of being here in this cave, like, imagine if we were in Stan's hometown. Like, we just woke up there and then that's where we deal with whatever. I hope we can come back here as many times as we want. Because uh, even just a fight here with this music on would be really cool. I guess maybe they lowered the level cap as well because maybe they didn't want people to be super over leveled when doing specific things. Because for the most part, if you had all those experience buffs on, you were level 200, you know, nothing's going to be touching you. And I already learned that there's like a boss rush type thing as one of the side quests, and all the boss you basically fight all the bosses in the game again, except they're level 95, so only being five levels higher than them, uh... I guess making them fair. That's where we have to go next, but let's see what's down here. You're guarding something, probably. Oh, I can't. I was so used to saving for the last day from all the playing I've been doing. Speaking of which, we ended the game at 60 hours yesterday, and now uh, I am at what? 67 hours. So I've played about 7 hours uh, today after beating the game. Um, yeah, I mean, what the heck. Punisher. Obviously not a destiny enemy. Let's do it! Forty-four thousand. Very nice. How much health does he have? Okay. I have gotten some new arts as well. Like Thunderfang, for example. Go on, Law. Mystic Artem. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guy wasn't too tough. Go on, Law, end it. That wasn't much XP at all. Heavenly armor. What is that? Is that's got to be better, right? Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's like a hundred points better. Okay. So I wonder if each world in here has a piece of armor for each character. Now here's the thing. Even though this is Destiny, we can't fight Stan again. Stan was already a cameo battle in Destiny 2. Uh, not Destiny 2, in uh, Zillia 2. So Stan is not going to be here if there is a Destiny character for us to fight in here. Oh, that's Edna. You can tell by the umbrella. Why is Edna in the Destiny world? Is it going to be one of those things where she's like lost, essentially? Uh, so, Edna was one of the characters I was spoiled on, so this is not a surprise for me, but, uh, it's still cool to see her. Alright, let's see what she's got to say. <laughs> ...人がいる。しかも、女の子。騒がしいわね。誰こちらが聞きたい。君は誰で、どうしてこんな場所にいる? Look at her in the new style. ひょっとして、お前もズーグルに飲み込まれたのか。私は招かれただけよ。招かれた。飲み込まれたのとは違うのかよ。ああ。ここは妙な場所ね。無視かよ。領域とも違う。汚れがあるわけでもない。<笑
the stereo music? Okay. Alright, Edna. We're fighting Edna. This is so weird. She looks really good in the new, uh, the new style. And she hits really, really hard. Oh, no, nope, we're disrupting that. Of all the Zestiria characters, though, Edna is a very interesting choice. I mean, I almost am glad it's not Saray and Miklio, because fighting uh, Armatized Saray uh, would probably be very painful. Yep, gotta watch out for her Earth Arts. Oh my god. I don't even remember all these arts she has. I love Zestiria music so much. Oh, well, we want to get away from that. If you want a Mystic Art Law, that'd be great. Or not. I was too late. This fight would not be fair in, like, a normal circumstance, because there's no way Edna would be able to hold her own against, you know, these four. Like, Edna's strong, but... By the way, this is obviously early games Zestiria Edna, because one, she's talking about her brother. Oh! I actually want to get hit with her Mystic Art! I want to see it! <laughs> this is gonna hurt, I have to agree. Just listen to that! What the heck is she doing? Wait, what? Shooting star? Literally. Alfin. Alfin. <laughs> He's like, I want an umbrella like that. Come here, Edna. She's not even moving. Oh my god. <laughs> She's messing with us. Oh 
I can't move. I was way too far away for that. Something that would be cool with all these cameo fights they do in Tails games is if once you do the cameo battle, the cameo character is like playable. Because obviously they have full move sets. Oh no. Here we go. has been dealt with. けがはないか。問題ないわ。化け物かよ。化け物じゃないわ。江戸なよ。出口は現れなかったわね。それじゃ約束通り質問をさせてくれ。と言っても。もう他の世界から来たってことは分かってるのよね。先ほど兄がどうとか言っていたが、お前の兄もここにいるかもしれないのか。大人の事情よ。答えになってね。欲張りな人間ね。まあ、勝ったのはあなたたちだから、サービス
I'm the only one here. Oh, okay. Well, she answered her question. I, I don't want to fight her again. But, uh, yeah. So, next time we'll head back to the gate and we'll see where the symphony key leads us. I assume to a Symphonia world. Um, something Symphonia related anyway, but... That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.